So hello, hello everybody. Let's welcome our friend Sharif. How are you, Sharif? I'm good, man. Thank you very much. It's good to be <laughs> back again. Back yes. <laughs> yes, we did we did this last uh, week. Do you remember? We did this last week and yeah, it didn't I think it, was, uh, it didn't we did it Saturday, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We were testing more than doing something serious. But yeah, here we are again to try making something uh, more decent and uh, i would like to introduce you to all my uh, followers and everybody who's following batman cooler um so we can see that you are a manchester united supporter yeah <laughs> <laughs> how long yes, have you I been am. a manchester supporter a uh, long time 25 years over 25 years wow since i come, oh. since I come to the country i've been supporting uh, manchester united all right like I said, when it, uh, like I told you last week, isn't it? They had the first um, first game I watched FA Cup final between Liverpool and um, yeah. Manchester United, and I said, "Whoever wins this match, I'm going to support the team." And Manchester United ended ended up winning. I think Cantona scored, and I supported them from then on. So yeah, that's wow. that's, that's the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you feel it, you feel it in yeah, your yeah. veins, but you feel it in your soul. You are a Manchester United yeah, supporter. Yeah, I am, I am. It's, it's been up and down, up and down. Um, <laughs> we've had obviously a lot of success, but now, you know, we're just going through a transitional period. So we'll just go out, we have a lot of patience, aren't we? Like you guys, Barcelona, yeah. same thing. So, That's true, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, hopefully, better future and more success for both clubs. Are you happy with Tanak? Personally, I'm happy with Tanak. Uh, I think he's he's doing he's doing an okay job. I don't, I don't I don't really know what more he can do. I think um, uh, the players that he's got, he's probably doing doing his best. Um, I don't know if a different manager is going to make a difference. Really, I think the club it starts at the top, doesn't it? With the Glazers. Um, we need a, we need to change our culture again. Yeah, like I said, it's, but that starts that starts at the top. That starts at the top, and um, and I think I think I think that's it. The managers we've had loads of different managers in the past few years, haven't we? Yeah. Mar Mario, you know, he, he's come in, he's won, but he fell out with the players. The players they don't they don't have the mentality. Obviously, Mourinho is different now. Is different. Like um, people say, obviously he's. Um, He's more old school and the game's passed him by. But, you know, he's, yeah. he's still a good manager. We've had Van Gaal and he's gone. Solskjaer, yeah. he came in and he, he did well at the beginning, didn't he? But, like, um, normally when a new manager comes in, players play well, don't they? they, they just, yeah. They just yeah. Play it is for, like, a year and then they get used to the same voice and and it goes downhill from there. That's true, the yeah. It, start, it starts at the top. So I think I think Manchester top. United has to start to finding... Uh, their own identity because you've lost the identity i mean you cannot just sign new managers just for the sake of signing new managers is what bayern munich is doing at the moment they they sign in different managers all the time but you have to you have to have an idea of where you want the club to be how how you want to play what what sort of managers are on the market so that you can start playing the, the type of football that you want can afford to play because uh, you've got certain players on the on the pitch two in our case for example barcelona we have to think about yeah. uh twice about signing new players because obviously there's no much money but you guys you all you have the money you have the money and, and you have the uh, one of the biggest histories in, in in football so you should you should try to find your own identity and and start building it from there well, we, we do have an identity, <laughs> but that's that's what I'm saying. That identity is gone. I mean, I mean, we still, I don't know that we've got, we've still got the the comeback, we're like comeback kings, aren't we? Past, we we've come back in some of the few games in the past few years, so we've still got that. But it's just the players, the mentality of winning, is is not there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The players, I think, just they don't want it enough. Um, but obviously, at the same time, there's no excuse. I think we have just got to try and get the best out of the players. We've got a lot of good young players um, coming through, um, but like I said, there's not many older players there who are who are 
you know, who were role models, like, you know, like we had, like, back in the day, Roy Keane, you know, the likes of Skulls, like Giggs, you know what I mean? They, they set the standards. When True. He, he, when he plays that now, you know what I mean, in, 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 in a club, and it, we need to just get back to winning, like winning at all costs. It starts with a mentality of just winning and not being happy with uh, losing, you know what I mean? The players now, they lose, it's just, they don't care, do they? They're not really yeah. that bad. It doesn't hurt him, does it? To lose, uh-huh. that goes to back in the day, players, you lose, you know, you couldn't, <laughs> um, you won't sleep for days, you know what I mean? I used to yeah. Be- okay, so what's your all time favorite player for Manchester? Um, uh, all time favorite player, it's got to be uh, an apostle, Gigs. Okay, what about Ronaldo? Oh, Ronaldo, obviously, yeah. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo. We've got so many good players. What do you think? What do you think Manchester United sets uh, apart from other other big teams in the world? There must be something. What's your greatness? What apart? I think we've had a lot of success, success and that winning culture. You know, under yeah. Fergie, we've, we've won so many, so many titles. Yeah. So that's 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 what sets us apart. Ferguson, Ferguson was a uh, like the uh, Guardiola. Guardiola is doing at Manchester City. He's taking over now. He's going to be a legend when he leaves. Yeah, yeah, he will be. He will be. I think what made Ferguson such a good manager was um, he managed to get the best out of players. You know, there's some we are, we want some title with players who who are average. They got the best out of them. Yeah, he was, I think he was a good man manager. I think that's what him and Pep. I think he's he's a bad man manager, Ferguson. Yeah, it was really really important. And uh, talking about Manchester City, did you see the uh, the, the quarterfinals? Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen the highlights. I've seen the highlights. Uh, of all the quarterfinals. What, do you, what do you think about Real Madrid? What do you think about parking the bus for 120 minutes? Listen, you've got to do what you've got to do. And, uh, I mean, Ancelotti is, is more known for being an attacking manager, isn't it? Yeah. Playing good football. It's true. But I think um, they just they did what they had to do. They've got, the, they've got that DNA, the Champions League DNA. They've won it, I think, a lot of times now, haven't they? More than ten, at least, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a bit unfair for 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 Manchester City to have to lose the match just because you haven't been able to transform those chances in goals um, in such an important match and you know quarterfinals. And then, I mean, to be honest, if we if we had to do what Real Madrid did. If Barcelona had to defend the way they did, it would have been clearly impossible because our DNA is totally different. Our de- DNA it tends to be or aspires to be as good as Manchester City. And uh, yeah, then Barcelona had that tragic red card uh, yeah, for yes. Ronald, best Ronald Araujo. Bloody hell, mate. I don't. I think it's, it's too strict, <laughs> isn't it? That wasn't. Yeah. That, <laughs> that was soft. That, man. that was soft. That is unfair. I mean, it's, to it's, be honest, it's the last man, isn't it? It's the it's the last man. So. Yeah, because I, yeah, I thought he's outside. He's got a defender. So it, yeah. it's slightly. It's it. It's a bit. Yeah. Um, it. He just won the game, didn't it? That, you know, Barca's chances it, went downhill after that. That was it. I mean, not not only we scored at PSG, you know, ground, but we also managed to score another goal at home. So I, I, I just, I, you know, I've, I've been there's been lots of speculation about probably the referee and wefa and al khalifi they they did something to us because uh, we are part of that superliga 
and uh, they yeah. kind of wanted to they wanted to punish us for starting Superliga because it's going to be I mean if, if if it succeeds if if it goes ahead it, it's going to be a massive competition for UEFA. Yeah. So I think Alkalifi and his contacts and his contacts they they're going to try to stop it. What do you think about Superliga? Would you do it? No, I wouldn't do it. I prefer the format now. It's, I think I think, I think football fair. I think football is going to a different it's got a different paradigm. It, it used to be a, it used to be a sport where all the money you got was from your titles and and your miles, yeah. succeed yeah and your succeed as a success as a as a team. But nowadays you you rely on people from different nationalities and you know especially yeah, from it's a lot of brands isn't it? I think yeah. teams, uh, Petro dollars, is very important nowadays, isn't it? Yeah, Petro I mean, you've got yeah PSG. Um, they've they're with Michael Jordan, and they've got like a um, what's it called, brands selling. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So the Jordan yeah, yeah. brand, isn't it? So it's. Do you think Mbappe is going to because be? Because like, you'd see it more like a yeah. The oh, what? Of Sorry. Club, club, aren't they? PSG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The PSG. They only know about money. They don't know about anything else. They just, they just think about money and money and money and bringing the best stars and the best managers. They've had the best managers they could. They had Tuchel. They had uh, Pochettino. They had uh, who else? Now Luis Enrique, they've had Ancelotti, they've had... Have they had Ancelotti? Ancelotti, No, sure. uh, no Ancelotti was a, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bayern Ancelotti. Munich. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Man. But they, they've had all the, you know, <coughs> Di Maria, Di Maria, they've had um, everybody. And, and they, they're not able to, 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 to win the, the champions. They're not able to they've win got the a champions. They've this year. Yeah. So... They only know about well, money. They don't. They don't know about uh, football. But they don't know about projects, football projects. You know. But we'll see. Do you think Mbappe is going to sign for Real Madrid this year? Huh? Uh, I was thought he signed. I thought they agreed to it. Eh? Yeah. It's pretty much yeah, signed I thought already. They agreed to it. Yeah, it's pretty much signed. And tell me, what's your what's your favorite memory yeah, yeah, related? Tell me, what's your favorite memory uh, related to your team, to Manchester United? That memory that brings you back to good times where you were crazy as hell. I'd, I'd say uh, I've got a few. I think 99 semi final against Juventus. 2 0 oh, wow. down. Yeah, and Zaghi scored two quick goals. And then we came back in it. Um, Roy Keane. I think Andy Cole scored and by oh, the 1 3 2. So, how do you think that being a football supporter has influenced your life? In what way? I think, like I said, with football, is you know, the competition side. I think you bring that to the workplace, try to be number one. Obviously, dealing with people, when you're part of a team, you know, everyone's different. You've got, you're dealing with different um, people from different nationalities, people from different like, say, walks, like, walks of life, and you have to come together towards a goal. Say, same with the workplace. You've got to do, uh, you've, got, you've got to do that. So it, help, it helps in that. I think it's just that will as well, competition to win. To win, to be your best that you can be. Yeah. What's your favourite football player of all times? Of all time, I. Uh, what a question. That's a good question. It's a hard one. <laughs> of all time, different players at different times. I've, I've liked players at different times. Um, how could I say? Ooh, there's so many. 
I'd say obviously Messi will be up there. Zidane. Zinedine Zidane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Zinedine Zidane. Messi. Um, Cristiano. He will be up there as well. Cristiano. I've like Ronaldinho. He had a, a wow. period where he's playing well. Yeah. Uh, Kaká. Kaká was what we, uh, AC Milan. I yeah. liked watching him play. I really like Kaká, AC Milan. Um, I'd say, who else is there? It's Iniesta. <laughs> Iniesta, Iniesta. Iniesta. Like, yeah, I've seen some I've videos. I've, I've seen a few videos from our golden era with uh, Xavi, Iniesta, Messi. <laughs> Uh, all, all all the years that he was at his peak and is amazing. There was there was a, a game actually in 2011. Do you remember the final against uh, against you guys? United, we'll Manchester it. United. Yeah, I was watching it in a I was watching it in a pub outside the streets, and I remember I had to work that day in England. And uh, bloody hell, I was so proud of seeing that team just you, you you were running you were running against the uh following the ball here and there it was impossible it was impossible you it was it was unbelievable it was it was an amazing performance i think um even real third on his podcast is saying that him and village is saying that like um it was a weird game for them because they weren't playing against anybody because messi was playing in that hole <laughs> do you know what i mean so they couldn't get near him like but like they're playing against nobody but like they were just they said that's the game where they, they, they do you know what i mean yeah yeah that game they got our class there was no um yeah yeah they couldn't do anything about it and he's saying i think you should have should have man marked messi should have got someone to man mark messi but obviously like united being united we, we tried to play against barcelona and you know you can't do that yeah you know what i mean you're gonna do what Mourinho did like at the new camp it's part of the bus because obviously, you know, exactly. that's, it, 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 I think that's that's what you got to do. I think. Um, so, Sharif, tell me, who do you think is going to win the Champions? Champions hit... League. Yeah. It's a tough one. Um, I think PSG are going to beat Dortmund. I think that's going to be. I think it's going to be. be that's that's going to be like that's for tie. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be think... a close tie, like, because they're both attacking teams. Dortmund play attacking football, don't they? Yeah, yeah, it's very direct. Although now with Luis Enrique, he's he's gonna yeah. start trying to be the uh, the one who has the ball all the time. I mean, it was a sixty forty percent possession for Luis Enrique against um, against Barcelona. So, and how's the uh, Premier League? What's happening? What do you think? Who's the winner? Because last week we, we um, were we were saying that uh, Arsenal was going to win, but they they well, they couldn't. It, but they bottled it. Arsenal bottled it. They're playing Ast. Uh, they played um, Aston Villa last week, but Villa obviously they're going for fourth place. Yeah. So, but Villa came. They came with a game plan. They parked the bus. Arsenal had a lot of chances early on. You know, they didn't take their chances. But first half it was all Arsenal. Arsenal had all the chances. Um, Villa just defended. They defended. They did the job. They defended well. Second half, they played a bit more. Villa came out more. They counterattacked more, and eventually, they, you know, they took. They got. They, they had the chances and they took it. They took the chances. Um, was it two two? Arsenal, yeah, they took the chances. I mean, Arsenal. It's just they need a striker. They don't have a striker. I mean, do you see City winning the league? The Premier League and the uh, Champions. Oh, no, City's over. League. City. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. I'll ask again. So, so, do you think City's going to win the Premier League? I think they will. I, th I think they'll get the job done. Um, I think the difference between City, Arsenal, and Liverpool is they've got Haaland. I think he's the difference. They've got a goal scorer. Do you know what I mean? And, because the Liverpool game last week, they, they had a lot of chances against Palace and they didn't take many, do you know what I mean? You know, the difference, the difference like I said, the, Liverpool created a lot of chances, but 
their, their conversion rate is really is really low. It's not good. Um, Arsenal, I think, are different because they're more defensive. They the base their their thing offense. Uh, attacking was the same. They need a striker. They need a guy who's going to poach goals and get goals. Because Saka is a good player, but he's I don't know. I think it's, I think it's a bit overrated. Saka is very very yeah. overrated. Wow. Yeah, I think it's overrated. I don't know if you, you see the play. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, and what is Manchester United doing? I mean, are you gonna are you gonna get to those uh, um, Europe League uh, or? We're seventh at the moment. We. So you're gonna miss the next no. champions. You probably are not going to play the uh, Europa League. Well, top five, we're not in. Basically, we're, we're seventh, so we're not we're not, we're not going to catch um, Tottenham. They got like sixty points, ten points above wow. us. So. Jesus, <laughs> oh, so difficult. that's it. You know, Tottenham and Aston Villa fighting for the fourth uh, position, champ, that last Champions League spot. So they, there's only three points between them. So that's that's going to be a tight finish. Huh. Wow. Okay, so I wish you all the best, all the luck in the world. Hope you can get to, I don't know, the highest possible position in the league. In the league, yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll keep tracking how things are going and uh, we'll have uh, another chat next yeah, week. Yeah, definitely. definitely. We'll, see it. we'll see how it goes, man. Next okay. week, we'll see. Uh, goals it should be fun it's yeah. good speaking to you back man as, as usual <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have fun next week appreciate it man thank you for having yeah, me yeah no thank you thank you for coming <laughs> thank you see you later see you later bye, bye. bye.